What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev2323, TREV2323. TREV2323. Subscribe, like, and share. Today we are going over this old fashioned movie popcorn thingy. Aha, look at that. And uh, there's this right here, we actually got from a family member. So uh, I actually cleaned it all out and everything by hand. I took it apart to clean it really good. Not that my family member was dirty, but you know, they sit around for a while because people get lose the, uh, the newness of it, I guess you could say. But I wanted to show you this before we got started. To take this inside piece out, this right here is what you could clean. To take this out, well, I got the light on, it's plugged in right now. But what you would do is you would turn this handle the opposite way. When you turn the handle the opposite way, you can actually lift this up and pull this out. This is it. And you can pull this out and unplug it so you can wash this separately, okay? So, and put this back in there. It just clips right back in and then you gotta wind this back on. So that's the easier way to clean it when you go ahead and clean it. Let me see, I'm trying to get this back in here. It, and it, and believe it or not, you gotta screw this in the opposite way when righty tighty. Yeah, this is this is a pain in the butt, but it's going in. All right, see, opposite way. All right, now it does have a little light that comes on it. Okay, it does have a little one one of the buttons for the light, but it's just a really tiny light. I guess if it's cinematic at nighttime, the little light in the background is pretty cool. And then this right here is to turn it on. This is the button to turn it on. So what we have here is we have some Orville Redenbacher popcorn, and we have some. Uh, Buttery flavor popping oil, but these are pretty cool. My wife picked these up. Uh, dill pickle powder, dill pickle, garlic parmesan, nacho cheddar, bacon cheddar. I'm gonna try this one. <laughs> uh, butter, uh, white cheddar, and ranch powders. These are powders. She got these off of the Amazon, the Amazon, and she got this at the Walmart. All right, so it comes with two of these right here. You keep looking over here, are they okay? Trying to hide something? Okay, you got two of these right here. The small ones for your oil, the large ones for your popcorn, your popcorn. So, when you open this up, you can fill this little cup up with oil. All right. Got a little bit of oil in there. And this right here, when this dries, this is the hard part to clean in this because this does get all over the glass and everything. You see the glass, it looks a little bit scratched. That's because I used a, a, a scrubby pad and some Dawn to get that cleaned off really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the oil in here. I'm sure they probably say let the oil warm up, but since we don't have directions, we're not gonna let the oil warm up. How about that? And that actually isn't too much oil. It looks like it'll hold a lot of oil, but that really isn't too much oil. So then we are going to go ahead and put the popcorn in here. Is that how much popcorn is in your popcorn? Uh, oh, whoa, 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 they're running away. Okay. I'm going to probably time lapse it because you know me, I always try to time lapse everything. So you're going to throw this right in the top right there. It does actually heat up pretty fast. That I do give it. It does heat up pretty fast. We're going to close it. There's a little button right here that you press. Maybe I should put the top down so it don't pop up on me. Push this right here. And then you push this button right here. And it heats up pretty fast. So my honey's over there recording. I'm actually going to wash this stuff off right now as my honey's recorded to try to capture that.
Okay, it got stuck twice, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, make a little adjustment with the Allen wrench because it did get stuck again the next time we did it. It was stuck. It got stuck. It got stuck. So there's uh, some that ain't gonna pop, but it got stuck is what it did. There it is. It got stuck in place. That's why I did that. popcorn and there you have your popcorn right there and it smells just like the movie theater but see there's a thing that spins at the bottom and that's what seems like it got stuck that one time but it still get a decent amount of popcorn now, if there's not enough popcorn for you you could actually get it going again right now to fill this all the way up with popcorn but when I was sitting here it did get stuck so it got stuck and basically all I did was kind of knock it out but it, it was it was actually like stuck on the gear right there so when i hit it i hit it too hard and it spilled some popcorn out but that's still a lot of popcorn for the one little thing that we have first thing i made sure i did was shut off the heat because when it's it's not gonna pop everything out so you're gonna actually have to listen to when it stops popping then when it stops popping you have one or two kernels, then you shut it off and flip it. Other than you're gonna have burnt popcorn. So this is the old time movie popcorn thing. After everything's done and cooled off, this get, gotta get wiped down because you see all the steam in the back? All that steam is actually gonna stick like butter right there. And then on top of that, this could come off and you could wipe that off really good. I showed you how. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.